Hey guys, and welcome to another Tech Tuesday's 10 Tips. This week we're going to talk about Windows 10 and some of its basic uses. So with that being said, let's jump on in. Now the first thing that we're going to learn about is the start menu. And the start menu is fairly easy to find. Just go down to the bottom left of your screen and click the button. Now as you can see, this will bring up some pinned apps which will change as you use your computer more and more. And on the left hand side, it will have all of the programs that are currently installed as well as the files to access anything that's installed and anything else that you would need to access. As you can see, there's quite a lot of stuff on here at the moment. Next, we're gonna cover the desktop. Now the desktop is the first thing that you'll see when you log in, and this is it here. On your desktop, you will have your recycle bin, App Explorer, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, and Office Online. Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge are both web browsers, and these can be used to access the internet. Sometimes when you install a program or an application, it will ask you if you would like to install a desktop shortcut. What that means is that the program will install a clickable desktop icon, and you'll be able to use that to quickly launch your program. So the next thing that we're gonna talk about is the taskbar. Now the taskbar is this bar at the bottom of the screen. And as you can see, it already has a few things pinned to it. By default, you will have Microsoft Edge, File Explorer, the Microsoft Store, and Mail pinned to it. This can be changed, can be added to, or you can remove pins from it. In this case, we're going to add Google Chrome to the taskbar. To do this, you want to right click on Google Chrome, go down to pin to taskbar and left click on that. As you can see, that's now added Google Chrome to our taskbar. We can then click that to open it up, or if you wish to remove it, right click on the pin, left click on unpin from taskbar, and that's it, it's gone. The next thing that we're gonna cover is the notification bar. Now the notification bar is down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And just by left clicking on that, it will open up the notifications that you've received. These notifications can be something from your computer. As you can see here, some of the settings have sent me a notification. Notifications will also come through when you receive a new email. You're also able to play with a few of the other settings by hitting the expand button. As you can see, it will allow you to change a few things and also gives you access to all of the settings if you click this button here. The next thing we're going to cover is File Explorer. Now, the best way to describe File Explorer is to imagine it as being a filing cabinet for your computer. So, File Explorer is this icon here. And if we left click on this, it opens up on this screen. As you can see, down here we have access to a few different things. Quick access is basically all of the ones that you see here. These are documents that are saved onto your computer, things that have been downloaded, pictures that have been taken on either your computer camera or saved pictures from other locations. Music is downloaded music or music that you've put onto your computer. And that's the same with videos as well. This PC is where all of your stuff is stored. C drive is basically the heart of your computer. So the next thing that we're gonna talk about is split screening or window snapping. So window snapping is fairly simple and it does make it a lot easier to use two windows at once. So what we're going to do, we're going to open up Google Chrome. As you can see, that's opened in the middle of the screen. We then click this, drag it all the way to one side and release. It will then give you an option of all the things that you can move. As you can see, we click on a second one. We're able to see both screens at the same time. This can make using Microsoft Word and a website much easier. 
you can read your information here and type it out on this side. Next, we're gonna cover screen duplication. To do this, you need to plug in a HDMI cable to your computer or your laptop, and then plug it into another monitor or TV. Once this is done, you can right click on your desktop, click on display settings, and a screen like this will show up. As you can see, I already have screen duplication active. So this will allow you to rearrange where your screens are in this case, I can move my mouse up and it will actually disappear from this screen, but it does show up on the other screen that I have connected. You can also identify which screen is which. And further down here, you can select how you want the second monitor to display. You can have it as a duplicate of the screen you're currently looking at, an extension, which is what I currently have it set to, or to show only on the first or second screen the next thing that we're going to cover is moving files and folders. Now, moving a file or a folder is fairly easy to do, and it helps with keeping things on your desktop nice and organized. Say, for example, you have a Word file that you want to move into a different folder. So what you do is you left click and hold and move the file over into the folder. As you can see, when we open up this folder, the file is now in here. We can then move this folder anywhere onto the desktop that we like by following the same method of holding the left click and releasing. Now the icons will automatically align on the desktop. So say for example, we accidentally try and place it somewhere in between, it will automatically move in line with another file line. So the next thing that we're gonna cover is the calendar app. Now the calendar app is fairly easy to get to we just move our mouse down to the bottom corner here where you can see the date and time and then left click on this. As you can see, it brings up a month by month. You can click on any day throughout this to select any event. You can also use the arrows to scroll up or down through the months and you can set reminders on this by clicking on the day. So say for example, we wanna set a notification for Friday and then we can just type in the event or reminder that we want. The last thing that we're gonna cover here is changing your background image. Now this is just for a little bit of personal flair, but by right clicking on your desktop, going down here to personalize, then going down, you can usually select a couple of different images on your computer. But what we're gonna do is we're going to browse we're going to go to our desktop, which is where we have our photos saved to. And then we can select any of the photos that we currently have on our computer. So I think this guy looks fairly cute. As you can see, this has changed our background image. Now when you're in this, you can also choose how you want the photo to fit. You can have it fill the screen, fit the screen, you can stretch it, you can have it as tiles, you can have it centered on just the middle of the screen, as you can see here, or you can have it span. Obviously, fill is the cutest, And you can change this as many times as you want, just by right clicking and going to personalize. Thank you very much for joining us on another Tech Tuesdays 10 tips. We do hope that you find these tips helpful. And if you do have any questions or comments that you'd like to make, feel free to leave them in the comment section below or message the page and we can hopefully help you answer your questions. And feel free to check out our YouTube channel for other Tech Tuesday 10 tips and a few other tutorials that we hope will help you in your technology adventures. Thank you again for joining us. Bye.